Look at your favorite YouTuber over here. Last night he was like, make sure I wake up early. Turn up my life. And I do my motivational speech. I am going to do that. It's too damn early. What time is it? 7 o'clock? So I wake yeah, him up. It's about to be 8. It's about to be 8, honey boo boo. I'm going to get up. I already tried to get up and get in the shower in Kingston and wasted all the hot water. <laughs> wake up. Get up, get up, get up. I'm okay. waiting until the hot water comes back in about 15 minutes. I'm making you breakfast already. Thing too. What up, Suki? Oh, you want to get out, Dad's mad because you wasted all the hot water. You come right over here. And I got my papas and agua so they can get south. And now I'm gonna mix up some chorizo in them. Put some eggs. Jeez. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm still sleepy. But I'm responsible for making sure that the kids go to school and that Lucky wakes up early today. So, just need to still sleep. Hey! I'm up! Come on! Ah! The food's almost ready. Come on. Vamos. You and that camera. Come on. Then when we don't vlog, you're like, what are we gonna do today? I don't talk like that. <laughs> what? I tried myself with the boiled egg thing that I Ew, used. you're disgusting. I smelled it too, but I thought it was the dryer. And then I looked at it and it was yellow on some side. And Houston, that's my plate. That one's yours. That's Houston's. <laughs> well, breakfast is served. Instead of eating my damn tacos. Welcome back to um, your daily dose of raw, unfiltered entertainment. You watch a new John on TV. I'm finna get up. Go do my morning run. Go get my morning speech. Go get my sermon on the mountain. Like Moses. I'm saying sometimes you gotta separate yourself from the negative environments that we grew up in. You know what I'm saying? You gotta separate yourself from that and really focus your mind on business and think about business, you know what I'm saying? Luchi gang, I am having contractions. I've been drinking water, doing everything I can, but I'm in pain. And I'm trying to be a big girl because I know this is nothing compared to the real pain that I'm gonna go through when I give birth. But damn. Yeah, like he just ended up bumping Houston's head on the door. Yeah, uh, it happens. But. We just ate <laughs> pot belly. Do I have a booger? Shout Everybody... out to pot belly. Hold on, baby. Hold on, hold on. Because I always got boogers in my nose. You stay with a booger on the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> booger nose Kelly. <laughs> Y'all wrong. Hey, uh, the lady forgot my chips though, and Kelly didn't think I was gonna go back. I had to go back for my own jalapeno <laughs> chips. We were at home eating our little sandwich or whatnot, and he goes, I'm about to go up there and tell her, You forgot my chips. You forgot my <laughs> chips. It's the funniest thing ever. 
but and I did. He actually did go up there. He put us all back in the car and drove his little happy self back in that drive through and was like, uh, you didn't get my juice. chips. So she hooked us up with two instead of one. So it was a blessing in disguise. See, a minor setback for a major comeback. This calls for a motivational spiel right here, man. You know what I'm saying? When you think you're taking a loss, it's really God opening another door for you to crawl through. You know what I'm saying? So accept that little loss as a major comeback. Minor setback for a major comeback. We two bags of chips now, baby. Whew. Houston done stunk up the car. He done pooped. Yeah, man. We got to take him home change his little diaper. He stank. But hey, man, look here, man. We having a meet and greet coming up real, real soon. When this cold weather goes away, I'm thinking March. In March, we're going to announce, real soon, we're going to be announcing the next couple cities we're going to go to and have a meet and greet, Luciano TV meet and greet pop-up shop concert all in one so y'all stay tuned for that we're gonna let you know what cities we're gonna be in type in the comments and let us know what city you want us to come to the girls just got home from school and i'm like what's happening is we napping or is we trapping Trapping. so y'all ready to blow <laughs> how was school Good. houston's Good. over there painting he got his little artwork he's trying to hang his artwork up he sees mama over there hanging her artwork up Kelly was trying to sell these on Instagram, so I just went ahead and bought them all three from her. <laughs> I, I said, man, these mine. You know what I'm saying? I said, what's that? I bought all three. Good job, baby. Good job. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe she she painted that, man. You got some talent right there. You got some talent. Uh, we all creative around here. Ain't that right, Gigi? Gigi got her little verse. Tell, tell them how your verse go, Gigi. Only nine years old, but I'm gonna pay them little tech. Getting money every day. Buy this one's the only way. Luciano TV, making it look so easy. Wanna come and see me? Sign up to drop some of my meet and greet. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. You know, we drop some fire pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? We creative around here, man. I think my creative spirit done uh, wore out, rubbed off on these people. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing today? Wait, you, you want that? Y'all hit me up if y'all want to buy my paintings. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be trying to sell the paintings, man. They're my paintings. They're my paintings. I want to sell them. And you know what? If we don't sell them right now, today, I'm going to end up having an art gallery slash pop-up one day. Y'all email Lucky Bookings. I am her manager. Because Ooh. I'm going to just be painting away whenever I have free time and then putting them in the stash if I don't sell them. Hey, whenever we do a meet and greet, you just bring all your paintings and we're going to set them so, all up. Gang, gang. So what's up, man? What y'all doing today? It's Monday. The weather out here is kind of bad. It's just a dark, gloomy day today. And it has been since this morning when I got up and tried to go run. Anyway, I think... We about to cook some chicken. Kelly about to make some healthy, ch a healthy chicken dinner with vegetables. She got zucchini and broccoli and all that good stuff. All the all the fixings. Chicken with all the fixings, all the trimmings. Y'all see this loudness? Y'all want to see something funny? Hold the camera, please. You want to fight? Oh, you fight like this. You fight like this. You want to fight? Knocked out. Houston. Houston, he just got so scared and jumped right on. He jumped out of his chair on top of me because he heard the doorbell ring. Who is it, Houston? Bro, bro. Bro, bro. Aww. Edgar. Why are we 
are you scared? You don't be scared. You quit being scared, little boy. Okay, so this is not a cooking tutorial. I've never even made this in my life. But you know, a lot of times I do freestyle my meals. But it's looking and smelling pretty freaking good. Let me show y'all what I got. Whipping up in the kitchen. So first of all, I know it looks like, okay, why did you just put five little ass tomatoes in the rice? They're gonna dissolve and give it color. It's not really for the flavor. But I added some cilantro into the rice, along with some pepper and salt and some Spanish rice seasoning. Then we have some chicken that was already marinated into like some sweet, I wanna say, um, sauce. I don't know, like you get this chicken at Sprouts. But I added spinach. And it's, I added a lot, but it's already like shriveling up. So it looks like it's not a lot. And I'm also adding some squash that I'm cutting right over here. I gotta finish cutting it. But before I finish doing that, I wanted to come show y'all what's for dinner today. So here it is, here it is. Also, while the food is cooking, I actually added some black beans on a pot to heat up. It was just some black beans out of a can. But the food's gonna be done in like about 10 minutes. But yeah, while I let that cook, I wanted to give a huge birthday shout out to Dominique. Happy birthday! Wish you many, many more. Lucky actually wanted to vlog, but Houston is really cranky for some reason and all he wants is dad. That's why I am holding it down, Lucha Gang. Holding it down. I just want to say thank, thank you to uh, Kelly Jean for coming through this evening and whipping up something special. I said it was almost ready. It's not ready yet. It ain't ready? No. <laughs> why you call me over here? Because I don't want to be by myself, boy. Well, these, I know these beans are ready. I know this rice is ready. I love how you're just like serving yourself like you ain't eight in days. Baby, all I have is a, a pot belly sandwich today. <laughs> Relax. I got you. Go sit down. Shout out to Kelly Jean for coming through, whipping it up in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and serve because first of all, this is a big pet peeve of mine. You do not use the same spoon for the sides. Okay. Yes. I was watching an interview on Breakfast Club with Will Smith and Martin, and he made a very good point. He said, yeah, people, as they get grow up, they create this character. And the character is the who they use to like protect them and sometimes use it to make money. And it's this character that they want people to see them as. And the character works for a certain amount of time, but then later on the character doesn't work as good and doesn't work as well because in actuality it's not 100% you it's a character so as you grow you got to be able to put aside that character and be your true self even if it's not the expectations of other people that are used to seeing you as this character you know what I'm saying so with that being said I'm gonna stuff my face like I want to on this camera. Eat a good old hearty meal. It ain't no steak and shrimp. It's beans and rice, chicken and zucchini. My favorite, if you did not know. Mmm. Ain't that right? Give me that. Thank me. Bye.